In this video, I'm going to share with you an ops trading technique that you can use that has the potential to give you huge wins. Babe Ruth was known for home runs, and sometimes as option traders, we also like to swing for home runs. The trade I'm going to share with you in this video allows you to swing for a huge home run for just a very small amount at risk. Ratio spreads are an ops trading technique that very few option traders understand and use. But if structured properly, ratio spreads can minimize your risk while setting you up for potentially huge wins. I'm going to share with you one way we like to use ratio spreads that if it's not in your tool bag already, this is the technique that you'll want to make sure you understand and use in future trades. Before I give you all the details of this position and how to use option spreads to line yourself up for potentially huge wins, notice that with the position I'm going to describe to you in the next few minutes, we have at risk at most $3,000. But notice that our possible potential win is as high as $111,000. So we're risking a tiny fraction of what our potential win is. What makes this even sweeter is that we enter this position with a credit. Now simply put, a ratio spread is an option trade where you sell some options and you buy some options. It's just a question of how many of each of those options you buy and sell. These trades can be put together in unlimited number of ways. So really you're only limited by your imagination. And if structured properly, they can minimize your risk and maximize your return. Let me talk you through the PayPal trade that we did using ratio spreads, show you how we set it up, what we have at risk, how we can potentially profit in this position, when we plan to exit it, and finally I'm going to show you where this position is at two months after we entered it. Here you see the trade alert I sent out to my patrons as soon as I entered this ratio spread in PayPal. Notice that this was a four leg option trade. However, all four legs of this option trade involved the January of 2025 options. In fact, they were all call options. First, Notice that we sold to open one contract of the PayPal January of 2025 $65 call option. That's the only option we sold. Everything else, we used the cash from that call option we sold to buy a bunch of call options. In order to cap our potential loss for that call option we sold if PayPal were to go up in price, we then bought the January 17th of 2025 $95 call option. Notice that the spread between the $65 call option we sold and the $95 call option we bought was $30. Since we sold one contract of that $65 call option, we had $30 at risk times the 100 shares that each contract represents so we only had $3,000 at risk. Next, we get to the potentially explosive gains part of this position. Here you see that we bought to open one contract of the same expiration day, January of 2025, $120 call option. And finally, we used some more of that cash from the $65 call option we sold to buy six times the number of PayPal, January of 2025, $140 call options. So to recap, we only traded in the January of 2025 call options. We bought six of the 140 strike calls, bought one of the 120 calls, one of the $95 calls, and sold one option in this whole group by selling the $65 call option. For this overall trade, we pocketed $90 minus commission. So we ended this position with a credit of over $80. Now let me help you understand what's going on with this trade. That yellow arrow is on June 6th, of 2023 when we entered this ratio spread. Notice that PayPal was trading for right around $64 per share. And remember, we sold the $65 call option that expired on January of 2025, so about a year and a half later. Now I've switched over to the weekly chart of PayPal so you can better see what's going on with this overall position. Remember, after selling that $65 January of 2025 call option, we then used some of that premium to buy the same expiration day $95 call option. That means that our potential max loss will be $3,000 because we sold one call option contract or the difference between 95 and 65 times the 100 shares that each call option contract represents. Now I know this is a lot to throw at you, so please feel free to rewind and rewatch any parts of this video as many times as it takes. This is a very important technique that you learn and have in your option trading tool bag. So we have a max loss of $3,000. Well, where does the gain kick in? Remember, we bought that $95 call option, but that was mainly to cap our potential loss. But it actually does something else as well. If PayPal were to go up in price, let's fast forward to a year from now. Let's say there's only six months left in this option. Let's say that PayPal is right around the potential spot we would see our max loss or right around that $95 area. Because remember, that $65 call option would then be worth about $30 per share if this option were at expiration and PayPal is trading for around $95 per share. But the thing is that if we're about six months out for expiration, this $95 at the money call option, it's going to have some pretty good extrinsic value in it because it's trading around the money. On top of that, the 120 and the 140 call options we bought should also have some amount of extrinsic value. So if this trade isn't going our way, that would mean that PayPal is probably hanging right around the $95 area as it gets closer to expiration. But if it were doing that, 
we would then be able to adjust this position to improve the odds of our winning this trade if that were to happen. Now let's continue with what might happen. So we sold one $65 call option, bought one $95 call option. We also bought one $120 call option. So if PayPal is beyond $120, this option then goes in the money and begins to increase in value faster because it'll not only have extrinsic value, but also intrinsic value because the options in the money. But the real kicker that can give us really big profits is this last option here. Remember, we bought six of the PayPal 140 call options. If PayPal were to go way up in price beyond our 140 strike price, this position could become extremely profitable. But is that reasonable? Could PayPal really do that? Well, remember, going back just two years ago, PayPal is actually trading at $300 per share. So it does seem reasonable that there is a possibility, even a small one, that PayPal could go way past our $140 strike price call option. Notice that 140 strike price call option is still way below the $300 per share it was trading at about two years ago. So the way I like to structure these ratio spreads is if I'm bullish on a stock, like I am long-term on PayPal, then I like to sell a leaps at the money call option. That allows us to collect as much premium as possible. Notice in this case, we collected $14.64 per share, over $1,400 for this one call option contract that we sold. I then use a portion of that premium to buy a protective call option that caps our potential loss if the trade doesn't turn out anywhere like we hoped it would. We use $5.06 to buy that $95 strike price call option, which is $30 higher than where the call option was that we sold at 65. I then use the remaining cash to load up on as many call options as I can and still walk with the credit like we did here of 90 cents. But I buy as many of these call options that are out of the money, but options that have the realistic potential that they might go in the money or at least benefit if PayPal were to go way up in price. In just a moment, I'm going to share with you our P&L on this exact position. But I wanted to mention to you that if you'd like to learn how to trade options like we do, to trade them in a way that consistently puts cash flow into your pocket every single month and in a way that lets you line yourself up for potentially huge wins like we've done with our trade here on PayPal, PayPal, check out the e-course I've written and tell the proven options trading strategy for monthly cash flow. The link is down in the description below. So how much is our potential win? Here you see a spreadsheet that I share with my patrons when we enter this trade. Now keep in mind that we sold the $65 call option. So if PayPal is trading below $65 at expiration, and we don't do anything with this position between now and then, then we'll actually walk away with a profit because remember, we pocketed $90 minus commission for entering this position. However, let's say that PayPal were to go up in price and reach the worst possible location for this position and we did nothing about it until expiration. Well, our maximum loss will be $3,000. But as you can see here, as PayPal approaches $140 per share, and remember this is if we do nothing with this position between now and expiration, then our potential loss begins to turn positive. Notice that if it's at $140 per share, this spreadsheet is estimating that we'd be at a loss of just under $1,000. Then as PayPal continues to go up in price, it sets us up for a huge win. Notice that if PayPal were at $150 per share at expiration, this position would be worth just over $6,000. If it's at $200 expiration, this position will be worth about $41,000. And finally, if PayPal reaches its previous high of around $300 per share by expiration, we'd be able to pocket a profit of around $111,000. And remember, we're only risking $3,000 and got paid upfront to enter this position. Now, something I want to remind you of before I show you my current P&L in this PayPal position is that we can always close this position out anytime. In fact, we close it out right now as I'm about to show you for a profit. And it's actually a pretty decent profit. But there's lots of things we can do with this position. So if it looks like it's going to be in this location, we might realize a $3,000 loss. There's a lot of things we can do to adjust it to turn it back into a winning position. Here you see this exact position in my Interactive Brokers Trading Platform. Notice that up top under the unrealized P&L section, it says that we have an unrealized P&L of $1,191 in this position. That means that in just 60 days, we could close this position out for a profit of almost $1,200. Remember, we got paid to enter this position and our max loss, which most likely will not happen, is $3,000. So what's my plan for this ratio spread? Well, simply put, I'm comfortable staying in it through expiration. However, I do plan to monitor it and watch to see if PayPal's upward momentum slows down or reverses. If that happens and we're at a nice profit, I look to exit position for a profit. Right now, PayPal is still in a nice uptrend on this daily chart. Now you see that today is earnings day. It's October 2nd. And we see that after the market hours, PayPal is down pretty big. But in spite of that, PayPal has made higher highs and higher lows. Now we still have a year and a half before this position reaches expiration. So I plan to give this position some time to run and see what happens. Do I think we're gonna make $111,000 in this position? 
I doubt it. The odds are pretty small it's going to happen. But do I think this is a good trade for PayPal that gives the potential to have a nice big win? Absolutely. If you structure ratio spreads properly, like we've done here with PayPal, it can line you up for huge wins while capping your potential loss. And as you saw, you can even enter them for a credit. If you'd like to get an alert whenever we enter stock and option trades, like I sent out to my patrons when we enter this PayPal alert, check out the benefits of becoming a patron down at the link in the description below. If you'd like to see another unique and little used strategy that we use to line us up for potentially huge wins, check out the video at the link above entitled My Stock and Ops Train Secret Weapon, Risk Reversals. Until next time, happy investing, and we'll see you again soon.